Today's creature of the day is the concavenator. Its name means Cuenca hunter because of its discovery in Cuenca, Spain, and it being a hunter. It ate smaller dinosaurs like Pelicanomimus and mammals like Spinalestes and lived in what is now Spain during the early Cretaceous, 130 to 125 million years ago. It grew up to 6 meters or 20 feet long and weighed up to 400 kilograms or 880 pounds. It was a Carcharodontosaur, like the more famous Carcharodontosaurus and Giganotosaurus, though much smaller. It had a hump-like structure on its back used for display, identifying one another, or temperature regulation. The back structure was formed by two vertebrae, perhaps even making a small sail down the tail. Its habitat was a wet inland lake environment, and its fossils were exceptionally well preserved, with possible skin, scale, and feather preservation. The bumps on its arm fossils are similar to quill knobs found in modern birds. This is the concavenator fossil right there, and you can see those little bumps that might be quill knobs. Some believe these are feathers, while others believe that they were some kind of muscle attachment scars. But I think the idea of having feathers on the arms is pretty cool. But maybe we'll learn more if we find another specimen, as we only know of one so far. Anyways, it went extinct due to environmental changes and competition with other predators. It was described in 2010 by Francisco Ortega, probably not the more well-known Francisco Ortega, and the only known species is Concavenator corcovatus, or maybe it's corcovatus, I might have mispronounced that. In media, you may have spotted it in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom as a background statue in Lockwood Manor. In my opinion, it should really appear in real life in a movie. In other Jurassic media, it's appeared in Jurassic World Evolution 2, Jurassic World Alive, and Jurassic World The Game. In other video games like Path of Titans and Dino Pets, it's also made an appearance. But surprisingly, not a lot of media appearances for this creature. Anyways, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should talk about.